Ah, the coffee shop. Perhaps the first great collaboration space. I've come to Ada's Technical Books to meet its owners, Danielle and David. They have a high-tech way of brewing coffee. We hooked up these drip solenoids and a, a little microcontroller. And an interesting story behind their name. So Ada Lovelace was credited as being the world's first computer programmer. So she was a real pioneer in many ways, as you guys are. <laughs> Good, nice and uh, cool. Yes. In my endless quest to learn about all things tech, I've come to the jewel of the Northwest. <laughs> I'm George Takei, and this is Takei's Take Seattle. Seattle is a small town known for a handful of really big corporations. These are cultural forces. Microsoft and its founders have invested so much in Seattle, they've changed the landscape. But now, Microsoft is changing too. A massive rebranding effort in the last few years has shifted the corporate culture. To hear more about it, I meet with Steve Clayton, who shows me the garage. Why is it called the garage? I expected cars here. That sort of embodies the spirit of, you know, technology hacking. You know, lots of companies started out in a garage. How do we, you know, get people to just come and make stuff? Very serious equipment in here. This place is open 24-7, uh, so people can come here anytime. We've got a couple of uh, etching machines. There are organized gatherings where people come will stay late and code, as we call it, or stay late and build. Obviously, we've got computers in here. We've got 3D printers, another 3D printer. There is uh, beer on tap. There's pizza arrives here. But the people who gather here, yeah, are employees of Microsoft. I want to show you this thing. It's called the Cube. Uh, so it's this coming together of this spirit of culture inside of the company of how do we just help people carry out their passions around technology and the ability to try and make things. I meet with Jenny Leifleury, who tells me about another event here at Microsoft that is truly inspiring. We created this big company-wide hackathon and we all put in our different projects and ask people to sign up to be a part of creating new solutions. Uh, my project was to help Steve Gleason with eye gaze. I had 40 people sign up. They came from all over the company and in the space of 48 hours we hacked anything that yeah. we could to do what Steve had asked us to do. And what did you come up with? What we came up with was the ability to keep his machine always on we also improved how to type, because he's typing with his eyes, and so speeding that up. And then the last thing we did was that we were able to get the wheelchair moving with just eye gaze. All of us were just full of that gut raw happiness that we were able to do something. It's bigger than geekery. It's bigger than just a piece of tech. Beyond the garage and the hackathons, Microsoft itself is developing technology to help all of us. I meet with Head of Microsoft Research, Peter Lee, to hear more about what they're doing. One of the things that we're really focused on right now is a field of computer science called machine learning. I mean, wouldn't it be great to have machines that, as you use them, they get better and better and smarter and smarter? Just like humans, hopefully. One of the things that you can do is teach computers how to understand human language, so that you can increasingly talk to a computer in your normal voice, in almost any language. Konnichiwa. So we've been working very hard on trying to find technologies that will bring translation into Skype. Hallo Georg, ich freue mich darauf mit dir zu sprechen. Hi George, I look forward to it to speak to you. Dein Mikrofon etwas besser einstellen. You need to adjust your microphone a little better. Thank you. Is this better? Vielen Dank. Das ist besser. Das ist sehr viel besser. Ich kann dich ganz klar hören. This is a fantastic experience. You're speaking in German. I just can't believe this is uh, really happening. Dies ist eine fantastische Region. Ich nur kann nicht glauben. Ja. Whether it be real-time translators or wheelchair hacks, the new culture here at Microsoft not only encourages a new way of working but a new kind of work. Foster an independent spirit within a giant corporation. I've enjoyed my trip to Seattle. 
a city of outsiders, collaborators, artists, and inventors. A city with an original spirit, a city that is truly an outpost for innovation. Working collaboratively, continuously, for two hours, or, or two days. Two days. <laughs> what happens when I touch it? It will blow up, George, be careful. Yeah. Beautiful, guys. That's exactly what I needed from all of that. I really appreciate it. I love it. You'll have to talk to my commercial agent. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs>